Okay, five, four, three, two, one, and you just start recording. Okay. <laughs> Do it. Okay, hold on. I think we've got a. Uh, I need a busy beat for the recording. I think I can do this without recording. Oh, you can pin a question, but I don't know. I think. Oh. Yeah, Benny. Five, four, three, two, one. Hi, <laughs> I think I'm here. Hello, everybody. Um, I haven't got a, uh, a waiting screen yet, which is something I definitely <laughs> need to do. Um, so I'm I'm I've 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 upgraded. I have got a wonderful mod, who's actually not just a mod. He's actually here in the studio with me. Jack Collard, who I mentioned in the last stream. Jack, would you like to come in and um, say hello? Come yeah. In. Yeah, come in, 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 come in. This is my great buddy Jack. Hey. Jack Collard, I was telling you about last time, he's, he's producer, director, actor extraordinaire, um, done games, mocap, blah, 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 blah. He's <laughs> awesome as well. Huge D&D. Yeah. Bigger, way, I mean, this guy eclipses me. I've got no understanding of the world at all, but Jack knows way more than I do. Um, you're playing BG3 at the moment, aren't you? I am, yeah. yeah. I'm playing every bit of it and taking my time. <laughs> yeah. You just reached Act 2? Uh, near the end of Act 2. Okay. So near you the end you of haven't been able to find that many yet, have you? Not in Act 2. No, 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 have no, I missed no, something? No, no, no. no, no. Um, so, Jack, yeah, uh, I was talking about last time. I think it was the last stream. No, the, the, the last Damon's Forge. We, um, he has produced a wonderful audio drama called, uh, yeah, oh, or, or like Iron Ore, yeah, um, but part of the Iron Anthology. If anyone wants to check it out and likes their audio drama, do just go and do it. So Jack is basically going to be operating all of the. I know you're probably all ask, asking questions and we'll be there in um, a second. I promise <laughs> he's going to be there in a second. But he's going to be operating the questions. He's going to shout them, <laughs> shout out questions out to me and anything fun and important. Um, so thank you so much, Jack. Oh, mate. Happy. You're so welcome. yeah, if you're uh, sending questions, you're addressing to me, and he I will shout them out. He also knows. Sorry, just name drop you. You also know Jen English yeah. and Aliona. Yeah. Um, very well. Yeah. And Jess Nesling. Yeah. Um, who else do you know? Wally. <laughs> oh yeah, you don't, well Wally's not in the game. Isn't it in the game? No, he's not in the no, game. He's not in that uh, one. Uh, you, who else do you know from BG3? Trying to. <laughs> loads loads of people the credits is just like it's people I know yeah okay fine um, so it's a shame that he's not in it big shame really big shame not my fault not my fault I didn't have a hand in that but you know blame Beth Park blame, blame, blame Beth Park thank you lovely Jack you're a hero let's see what people have said <laughs> I've slowed it down. I've slowed the um, I slowed it down to to like ten seconds, but it might not be enough. Um, oh, how many people are there? That's the other thing I can't quite figure out. We haven't figured out yet. Is the twenty nine viewers? Twenty nine viewers. Oh, how did you see that? Is that on the thingy? Uh, it's pretty fast. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Okay. Hello, twenty five people. Twenty nine people. Nice to see you. Welcome. Oh yeah. This is this is the issue. Dang it. So I'm now not using my laptop. We're using the um, Mac oh, Mini. Oh dear. People are being so lovely and kind. Um, so. Um, I'm gonna open up questions and stuff in a minute. We'll do some painting of this. And I've got some, <laughs> I've got some ears to put on. I want your opinion on. We'll do that in a minute. Um, but there's a few things I'd like to say to you all before we go any further. Um, this will also be on YouTube later. We're recording it, and that's going to go on to YouTube. -y. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much for joining tonight at Damon's Forge. You are so, so welcome. It is lovely, lovely to have you all here. Um, I'd love to see the, like... What are they saying? You know, what are they, what are they saying, Jack? This speeding through is amazing. There's so many people doing so. Um, yeah, I'm I'm working on the Left Forge game. Awesome. 
you can respond in the chat if that helps. Okay. Um, so Jack will be me. Jack will respond in the chat and hopefully try and sort out sound issues. Again, apologies for that. Me being a numpty. And this is the third time I've ever done this. Okay, so there's a fair few thanks that I would like to do now. Um, firstly, all of you for joining us, for tuning in and coming to Damon's Forge. Thank you so much. Um, uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of a thing like just processing the fact that you've all, sh like 30 of you have shown up just to hang out with me for an evening um, when there's so many other things to stream and so many other people to stream and see and do and watch and have fun and yet you're here spending time with me and Jack. Thank you very, very, very much. Um, so yes, Twitter is basically where I've been living as Damon for a while. Um, and that has been an absolute wonderment to me like <laughs> i think I, I can't remember when it was like when it was released or when i said that i was playing damon i went from 2000 something 100 followers which is a huge amount anyway but that's that's like 15 years of men <laughs> not that long uh, that's a number of years of trying to build that and well i mean you know it's just lovely people that follow me which is great and then went to a thousand more in the space of like two weeks. So thank you, all of you from Twitter. Thank you, all of you from Instagram. Thank you, all of you from TikTok, which is a new thing. Now, that was the freakiest thing, was when Beth Park introduced me to Twitter, to TikTok, and introduced me in that fun, fun way. I don't know if you've seen it. Go and watch. It's great. Um, she had 12,000 followers. I think she's now got 20,000 followers, which is just mind-blowing anyway. Anyway, she introduced me on that, and I went from, like, nothing to 2,000 followers in two days. I mean, thank you. Thank you to all you as well. You're amazing. How are we doing, Jack? Am I... Um... Yeah, we've got, we've got a couple of questions, but we also just got a lot of love in the chat now. We love Damon, and we did amazing with him. And Space Fairy. Fraser is hot. Beth is a gem. <laughs> Beth is a gem and she is so I, I think I said this last time but I want to follow in Beth's footsteps she's just she's just my like my directing idol right now because you know, it's amazing I get to work with her most days it's awesome right okay so a very kind a very thank you thank you thank you thank you really from the bottom of my heart for for all the love that you've shown all the I mean so cheesy and corny but like really I mean it from the bottom of my heart I'm just so grateful for for everybody's kindness and thanks who people have thanked me for playing a, a fictional character what what's that about jack <laughs> wonderful effectively um but there's a few people i'd like to mention personally who have just been really like kind of sounding boards and and like mentioned certain things and, and helped in certain ways and i just mentioned them specifically so i'd like to mention val uh val put your hand up and say hello if you're there i hope you're there um if 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 they say hello um jack can you let me know thanks babes good who has set up a <laughs> set up the discord for damon and has been again like saying, "Oh, you yeah, phrase is doing this, phrase is doing that, phrase is doing that," and I've just been like, "Oh, it's just too much, it's too much and too lovely." Um, Vampire kisser, <laughs> who I've never actually, which is terrible. I've never actually found out your real name. I think you probably have said, but you are incredible because you've given me loads of encouragement and cosplay advice and just been a nice sounding board as well. Um, you just, you really guys don't realise what it is to have so many lovely people fighting your corner as an actor it's just just amazing so thank you vampire kisser <laughs> just love it thank you i hope thank you is there for your great help in helping me with setting up this soul streaming thing in the first place um incredible absolutely brilliant um thank you thank you thank you um 
Katerina, or as Onakita, uh, at Onakita, follow follow them. them. You've been my art collector. You've like alerted me to all of um, uh, the the art pieces of Damon, which there are far too many of. <laughs> I'm like, wow, and far too good. Um, and so thank you for being my art collector and alerting me and tagging me in. And that's just been so lovely. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Anna, Raphael's Warlock, your support has been exceptional as well. Thank you so much. Um, again, helping with the cosplay stuff. Awesome, which is very cool. <laughs> right there, something like that. Um, uh, Stinky Pinky. <laughs> narf. Um, narf, narf. No, is it? Narf. How does Pinky the Brain Pinky sound? Oh, Narf. Uh, Narf. What's the, what's the same thing we do every night, Pinky? Try and take over the world. Narf, brain! No, I can't do it. It's terrible. But anyway, thank you, Pinky, for your wonderful streaming advice as well. You've been amazing. Thank you. There's probably lots of other people I've not thanked personally. I'm really, really sorry. I now want to go on to the artists and their support and f the various things that you've been involved with as well there. And I'm going to mention, it's going to go, I'm going to go down by Twitter now. Twitter name, so uh, I'm gonna. Oh, I could put it in the. I could put it in the um, in the YouTube content description, couldn't I, Jack? When I upload it to YouTube. Sorry, I'm not reading. Yeah, what? You oh, you're reading in. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to fix this audio. Oh no, is it still bad? It's we left the room already. I am aware, folks. I'm trying to fix it. He's trying to fix it. He's being amazing. Um, but you can still hear me. That's the. That's okay, isn't it? Yeah, it's left the priority. Ah, oh, so weird. Mm. Even though on my account it says priority. Mm. Weird. Okay. Tech you. issues. Sorry. Thank you for bearing with. I hope I'm not talking too fast. Um. So yeah, I can put it in. I can put it in the chat. In the in the YouTube description or possibly in the chat in tw on Twitch maybe. I don't know. You wonderful people probably will know the answer immediately and be like, please. Anyway. At monocle underscore art. Mwah. Work is delicious. Necromos. Mwah. Work is phenomenal. At quickwikwi. At quickwikwi. Gorgeous work. Thank you. Crying on a table. Just uh, thank you very much for your wonderful work. Basically, I just want people to know about your work. It's not the stuff you've done for me, because you haven't done it for me. You've done it for Damon, which is great, and I love it. Um, uh, Fidio, ah, wonderful heart forged stuff. Lee 3 ear, ear fat. <laughs> I've just worked out what this. Leaf, L3 ear fat. <laughs> love it. Thank you for your wonderful, gorgeous art. Foxy Bear and Fawn. Foxy Berry Fawn. Foxy Berry Fawn. It's got to mean something. Anyway, beautiful art. Uh, uh, Twitter, uh, Fraser, do you mind if we post a link to the Discord in chat? Do it. Do it. Do it. Uh, why not? Come on. People can join and, and enjoy the love there. I do lurk there every so often. Mm, lurking. Um, Pinky's Brains. Oh, wait. Uh-oh. Pinky's brains and stinky pinky are stinky pinky. This is Pinky's brains. They're the same. You're the same. Yes, you're amazing. Ah, oh, ah, oh, beautiful art. Uh, time the hobo. Ah, oh, that chibi, that chibi, 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 chibi. Ah, oh, stunning. Um, lark one, ironaut. Ooh, Jack, lark one ironaut. That's a cool name. Um, beautiful, beautiful, stunning work. I'd like what I'd love to do is be able to show all of these beautiful pieces of art you've done, yeah, but I've just mentioned them. We could do that. Next time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, next time. Um, as Volnes, as Volnes, as Volnes, beautiful art. Thank you very much. Uh, White Mar three, White Mar three. Banana underscore coat. Hard day's work. Ah, oh, genius. Uh, spooky mo. Mm, underscore. Spooky mo. Beautiful. 
G A Baba zero two. Beautiful art. Thank you very much. Um, does anybody like my um my Spider Man T shirt by the way? Mm. Mm. This is where my nerddom goes. Spider Man. Boom. Although, <laughs> although, although, however, having said that, it's not terribly kid friendly. It's more Halloweeny with um, venom. <laughs> can you, can people see that, Jack? It's a bit scary. So what I'm trying to do is um, find a uh, like a, a patch to go over it, like a Spider-Man patch to go over it, so it's not so scary for the kids. I've got three kids, and I think they'd be a bit like, oh, "Daddy, don't hug me." It's scary, but it's Spider-Man T-shirt. That's where my fandom goes. Oh dear! <laughs> I no, don't get me wrong. I love Venom. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Freaking love Venom. Venom. Venom's awesome. But 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 for the kids, we've got to think of the kids. All right. Think of the kids. I, I have a sandwich. Oh, that's a good idea. So put put a. Sorry, I probably better repeat everything you're saying because not everybody can hear what you're saying. You saying. Put a face mask patch on it. Yes, that's that. <laughs> It'd be so cool. I mean, it's super spooky. It's still kind of like out of context. You've got this lovely Spider-Man, like his spider sense is tingling. Um, and you've got this cool like print here, uh, like cell print. It's just so cool, man. Like just love it. And then you just got this, and it's just like it's so cool. But at the same time, it's for the kids. Okay, um, night, Randy. Hello, night, Randy. You are awesome with your wonderful art. Snuffy McSnuff, beautiful art. Uh, Levicra underscore art. Ah, oh, just gorgeous. Uh. And Val at Hussino, 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 Hussino is awesome. Uh, Albino Gel, Albino, 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 uh, Albino, I'm going to put it in the chat. Albino Gel, um, Art Blog Cassis, mm, thank you, just the, all the art is just phenomenal. Uh, Niku30 underscore or Niku30 underscore, so sorry about that. And uh, Jorge Silva or George Silva, if you're watching, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please follow them all on Twitter, give them the love and the support and the wonderful work. They're all amazing, they're all lovely, and yes, thank you. Um, okay, yes, I'll do, I think I'll leave this to later. Cool, right, sorry, Jack, how are we doing the left ear thing problem? Still a problem? Uh, the problem? Yeah, let me just ask in chat if, um, if it's still a problem. Okay. I'm having trouble because it sounds to me like it is. Fine. Good. Right. So I'm okay. Going to... So Jack is, is solving. Yeah, and that's it. Okay, thank you, everyone. He's, he says thank you, and he's still working on the case. I um, mean, does it matter of like switching over that middle, like getting the. the, the, the... Yeah, send it right. See what happens there. Hello, hello, hello. I'm talking to you. Um, so yes, uh, thank you again for all your wonderful interactions and support. It's been a wonderful and joyous experience. Still quiet, good quieter now. Um, I have been blown away by your gentleness, kindness, and fun. This community has been rather exceptional. Am I still too quiet? Uh, I put it back. I'm just trying to figure out if there's a way to move this around. Should I move the mic closer? So Jack Collard, follow him on everything. Um, he's actually not on um, any social media at the moment. Well, he is. You can follow him and all that jazz. But he's just, he's doing a very sensible thing and just taking your, like, can I say this, Jack? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's taking a very important year out um, to just kind of figure stuff out. But anyway, he's awesome. You can check you can can I, can they go to your website? Uh, my, yeah, they can if you want. But I, I I can go. I will make an exception for the Dan's Forge. I will come on and see the social love. And yes, uh, someone is saying join the Discord. I I will get on that. Oh really? Yeah, I'll figure out one when I get home. Oh really? Yeah. Oh wow. Oh yeah. cool. Um, so Jack Jack is awesome, and you should watch his stuff because he's done quite a bit of makeup, and he's done more makeup than I have. 
Um, I just got extremely lucky. <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry, uh, sorry, and I haven't finished what I'm saying. So thank you for. Um, yeah, been so blown away by your gentleness and kindness and fun. I'm not sure at this particular moment in time how many more damn forges I am going to be able to do physically. It could be like I do one a month, one every two months. Um, uh, I it's it family stuff, it's work stuff, it's all the stuff. I have loved doing this and I've loved our interactions and I'm still going to be on the socials. <laughs> you want to like connect that way. Um, but I, I, I'm not sure how many of these streams I'm going to do. And also I, I not going to be able to get an Xbox um, X just yet. I've got to save up the pennies for that bad boy so I can do the playthrough and the streams and that. Because I would like to, I would like to do a, a, like, a, like, uh, a stream of me playing BG3. I think that would be super fun. We've got to save those pretty pennies. Um, but yeah, if you've got any ideas for Damon's Forge, we're going to do a bit of painting tonight and just responding to questions and all that kind of stuff. Um, I've got my... I want to test out the colour for my cosplay for Damon for the 27th of Comic-Con. I've got some bits yeah. and bobs. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Is that just you, Jack, going whoop, whoop, whoop? Oh, okay, cool. Um... People are like, oh, he's going to Comic Con. Great. Because I've got these lovely little, ooh, squidgy. Ooh, it's gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put some. I'm gonna put some makeup on me tonight as well. And you all go, yes, that's the perfect colour for Damon. Um. So yes. Yeah, so uh, uh, yes, I would love to do more of these streams, but I hope you understand that I. I just. I um. I don't think I'm going to be able to do them super super regularly. Um, but anyway, you get bored of me anyway. Ha ha. Uh, but we got another stream tomorrow night, which is very exciting. Are you going to Comic Con casually or as a meet? I'm going casually. I'm going as a cosplay. I'm not going as a meet. No, I'm not that important. <laughs> um, no, I'm just going. People can. I mean, if you find me, come and say hi, please. Um, but no, I'm just going as little old me dressed as Damon, which would be. Freaking fun, and I can't wait. I've got my boots. My boots arrived yesterday, Jack. Did they? Yeah. Fun. My big, like, blacksmith boots. They look sick. I posted them on Twitter. I think they look awesome. Um, you're, getting, you're getting lots of comments saying they would never get bored of you today. Oh. I think what the fans are saying is you need uh, you need to do more of this all the time. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh. Um, I would love to do it. I just. I don't know how to do it, Jack. How do I how do I do this all the time? It's so difficult as So basically Jack and I run a business called Mr. Self Tape, um, where we help actors with their video auditions. And this is where we are today. This is the Mr. Self Tape room where we do stuff. And so that's a business I run with Jack. Um uh, I'm also directing on a video game at the moment at Pit Stop. Um which is coming out my birthday next year. Yes! I can't wait to tell you about that. That's very exciting. So I'm, I'm voice directing on that. I'm not directing the whole thing. Sorry. I'm one of the many voice directors. There's six of us. Um, yeah, it's lovely. It's brilliant. Super fun. Uh, but yeah, that's coming out near. I'd love to stream that. Could I stream that, Jack? What, sorry? I could stream the game. I could stream the game that, that I'm voice directing on. Couldn't yeah. I? Yeah. 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 yeah, I just can't tell you what it is yet. Mm. Don't know. Um, but anyway, yes. Yeah, so tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. Has anybody... I'm going to ask a question, Jack, and see what the response is. Okay, one second, though. One quick question is, how does the voice director job work, Mr. Mike? I've been asked a very cool question. Shall I paint whilst doing it, or...? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Start with paint. paint okay. Chat, paint and chat. Shall I put my ears on, too? I say yes. Yes. I've got to paint these at some point. I've got to paint these ready orange as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. How are these bad boys? Oh. Uh, other way. Other, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Rich Way and Al. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on backwards. <laughs> on backwards. <laughs> oh, dear. You can tell I'm a newbie. But I'm loving it. 
Uh, <laughs> Where's my sock? Brilliant. Dobby needs a sock. <laughs> okay, cool. What are you thinking? They're not as point. I, like the thing is, I need to kind of point them out a bit, like Damon's, right? So I'm gonna have to put something behind them to. Yeah, just give them that a little bit. Um, a lot of people realising that from Damon to Dobby. <laughs> No, this has backfired completely. Oh dear. What about I've got these ones as well, but these look these are way too small. <laughs> I, I gave the others to my daughters, <laughs> and one of them was wearing them this morning. <laughs> it's really funny. And I looked out the window and like, look at that, Daddy. I've got elf ears too. Oh, these look. Oh, here's it. Uh, Darkling Dal says, get some ear tape. Oh, Dark. Sorry. Sorry, go on. Darkwing Dalf is awesome. They've been um, giving me some sick advice. Thank you, Darkwing Dalf. Yeah, we get some tape. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. I can't put those on. I'm not putting those on. Right. Okay. I'll leave these bad boys on, shall I? Sorry. Voice directing. That was a question, wasn't it, Jack? Yes. How does the voice directing job work? Okay. Voice directing job. Um. So. Uh, just to give a bit of backstory, should I take these? These feel a bit silly. Or should I keep them on? I say keep them on. You say keep them on. Okay, fine. Um, you have to be stuck, that's it. Okay, you have fine. To keep them on. Yeah, they're awesome. You're, yeah, too late. You're stuck with them. Too late. You're stuck with them. Oh dear! I should just get them surgically attached, shouldn't I? <laughs> um, Spirit gun is very good all day, apparently. Spirit gum. Genevieve. Genevieve. Genevieve or Geneva. Genevieve. V R E. Genevieve. V E R E. That's my dyslexia. I don't know the other. Yeah, no, I. Yeah, I think I probably have a hidden dyslexia somewhere. Cool. Awesome. Awesome advice. Thank you. So, who's asked the question? Do you know who's asked the question about the. Oh, um... it's vanished all the way to the top. I'm so sorry. Uh, uh, uh... Don't be sorry. I can't find. I will find. I'll try and find it. Well, somebody can repeat the question. Uh, who's Who asked the question about the voice directing? Yeah. If you could repeat the question and say, it was me, I asked that question. That was Johnny B. Johnny B. Johnny B. Johnny B. Hey, Johnny B. Thanks for popping by again. Mm. Do you like my ears? <laughs> Sorry, too much fun. Um, voice directing, voice directing. So I, I'll tell you how I got into voice directing. Um, again, the gift that keeps on giving of Baldur's Gate 3, of working at Pit Stop. Again, the gift, the gifter, the gifter of the love of Beth Park. I mean, come on, Beth Park is probably the best person ever. No, that's Jesus. Um, uh, ooh, oh, no. Oh, that's good. Um, uh, basically said, oh, freak, because I was, I was playing Dam and I was playing a few other people. Anders and all that jazz. And um, uh, she said, "Oh, yeah. Why don't we?" They were they were they were struggling with the the workload. <laughs> there was a lot. There was a lot to get through. Um, and they were struggling with the workload, and um, they needed some more performance directors. So there was so for Baldur's Gate three. You had um, the wonderful fact that we were not just doing voice directing so we didn't just have actors coming in and being directed oh, my pet. sorry i'm just getting my i'm just getting my my horns ready and my paper ready um so this is a long-winded story people are okay with it aren't they though jack uh, uh yes oh, good <laughs> story time <laughs> a lot of people are like it's a law dump from you, basically. Give us the law dump of uh, <laughs> your world into being <laughs> Oh, dear, so hard. You're so funny. Anyway, yes, back long time ago. Actually, it was the beginning, it was the end of last year, and we were still, yeah, finishing up and, and all this kind of stuff. And I think this one will do the best. Anyway, um, there's a lot of coverage on these horns. Um, I've got my black acrylic. I think it's acrylic. 
I don't know. I think it's anyway. Um, and so they needed more performance directors, and so I was asked because I'd had some experience and knowledge of working on the game and the world and all this kind of stuff. Was if I'd like, and through I guess through doing Mr. Self Tape, and I'd done a couple of short films last year, and I had I had directing experience, but they also were like, oh, this guy would be good to come on and do some performance directing. So it, so the performance director and the voice director, there was two of us uh, in the booth. Um, the performance director was working very much with the actor on their physical physicality um, and the world in and around them and who they're interacting with and, and all this kind of stuff. So that was my job for a little bit. And then one day, <laughs> somebody didn't show up to do the voice directing. <laughs> And so it was a bit of a like, oh, Freeze, um, would you mind doing the performance directing and the voice directing at the same time? And I was like, uh, yeah, yeah, why not? Let's, let's yeah, why, why the heck not? Um, ooh, look, black, black. Um, ooh, ooh, it's good. Oh, yes. Very black. I might have to give it another coat and something else. Oh dear. Anyway, um, so I think I think it was. <laughs> I basically chanced on the fact that um, uh, I I yeah I was in the right place at the right time, and I I think I must have proved myself because I was okay at doing the voice directing, and they were like, "This is not answering your question, Jolly Bee. By the way, I'm sorry, but I felt I felt like I should indulge it and indulge myself." Ha ha ha. Um, oh yes, this is rather good. Um, very black, but his horns are very black, aren't they? I hope they are. That's how I've imagined it. Uh oh, is it the Mandela effect taking place again? Anyway, um, yeah. So then, then the rest is history. Basically, I was I was asked to do more performance directing, and then there was a chance to do some uh, voice directing as well. Um, but that's that should be something that's really noted is that the voice direction and the performance direction was integral to the performances that you see in the game. Um, you know the the obviously the voice direction is very very important and setting the context and and all this kind of stuff. And but you'll hear Sam Bayart. Is Sam Bayart there yet? Samantha Bayard said they turn up. That's no, fine, um, don't worry. Thank you to uh, the Queen Owl. They're more kind of greyish black. They're more kind of greyish black. They are more kind of greyish black. Yes, so okay, this could be cool. This could be more kind of greyish black. Um, thank you. Who, who said that again? Uh, Requiem Owl. Requiem Owl. Thank you, Requiem Owl. You are a meeting. Uh, for your advice and yes anyway um yes so okay that's how i got into voice directing oh i was talking about the voice directors and the performance directors wasn't yeah. i yes yeah, sorry voice directors and performance directors integral to the performances that you see in Baldur's gate 3 um although there were there were a couple of people there were a couple of situations where it was just voice um so like for gortash we had another actor um, doing his movements, but it was just Jason I. Oops, it was just Jason Isaacs doing the voice. He wasn't in a mocap suit. Um, it was just him doing his voice, his wonderful voice for Gortash. Any whom. Uh, so yes, how does voice directing work? We can talk about that now. So you must go and also check out the wonderful voice directors on it um, as well, like. There were so many brilliant people voice directing on it. I had Jen English actually voice direct me for a lot of Dan and stuff, which was awesome. Tilly Steele, uh, Kirsty Gilmore, oh my word, Kirsty Gilmore, Beth Park clearly, Josh um, uh, Whedon, one of the lead directors with Jet with uh, Beth Massley Winter, um, Adrian Townsend, 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 Townsend dang it forgotten damn it um uh am i all right yeah the uh the 
focusing on the side to like I'm trying to get. Oh, is it? <laughs> oh, that's all right. It's kind of funny though. <laughs> you don't need to see my ugly face. Oh shush! Oh shush! Oh, oh, oh go on, behave! Oh you shush you! Oh you shush you! Oh you shush more, Jack. No, I'm joking. I need to shush. I think I could put that down and paint it from the. I just wanted to paint the top and the back a bit. Anyhow, any hoob. Thank you. They're used to it now, Jack. <laughs> they are daft. We go daft. Um, They're what? <laughs> Don't worry. Oh. Um, voice directing. Sorry. Thank you. Voice directing. How does it work? Uh, it works much like any other form of directing. You need to understand the context and be able to relay that to the actor. Um, it's all relationships. Like every sort of directing is relationship based. I feel like you've got to work with the actor. You can't just tell them what to do. Go, say it louder. Say it prouder. Say it like this. Say it like that. It's there's a relationship um, that you that, that that needs to be built. And you, you'd agree with that, wouldn't you, Jack? Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah, so really, Jack's a director, so he'd know. Uh, Trey, do you know who did Tarlax Dunk? Uh, animation, cinematics. Thank you. I think. Uh, Damon with Damon. Is Damon with Damon there as well? Yeah, that was at the front there. That was over. Wait, I'm Damon with Damon. Oh, you're Damon with Damon. Oh, no, that was Tim Fire. Hold on. Oh. Who was that person by? Uh, that was Sylvie Chan. Hi, Sylvie Chan. Uh, yeah, I think it's cinematics. I don't think anybody did the dance. Sorry. Uh, who did the sword boomer dance? I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. Have I finished the answering the question about director voice direction? Probably um, not. How does it work? Yeah, you kind of just chat around it. Yeah, so I am chatting around it. Sorry, that's kind of what my that's my mo. Can I elaborate more on how like for this the the difference of the t like the directing team and they're focused on different bits. Okay. When yeah, like yeah, yeah, to help focus on each element. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's again. So that relationship is very important. Like you are working in tandem, um, as a performance director and a voice director, you are working together to to help the actor, support the actor, aid the actor, to find out, to understand what they're doing, basically, and and who they're talking to. Because you're not nobody was working with any other actor on Baldur's Gate Three. Like it was literally just chatting to a camera. And all the wonderful volume cameras in the volume. Um, and picking up the movements and stuff like that. So it's like chatting to a green screen, only worse. <laughs> it's just no other actors there. So the voice actor, the voice director, has has a bit of responsibility of reading in with the actor as well and, and helping them kind of respond. But you know, you've got you've got just talented people who are just able to respond to, to anything almost. Just with given the context and 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 the encouragement from the director. Um, often it's kind of, it can be just like a word. Like I was so pleased when I came up with the word perfunctory. Can you can you give me can you um can you work a bit more perfunctoriness into it? Don't think I said it like that, but whoa, look at that. What do people think? Base coat? Nice, nice, nice. Lots of love. Looking great. People are happy. People are um, happy. I have a question in here, Trey. Cool. Uh, from Resident Owl. Trey, can you give any advice for people trying to get into the industry? I have asked for the what area, so if mm. you have some more specifics on... Probably can't hear me. If you can ask them I can hear you. any... Um, yeah, sorry. I can hear you. Any area they want to ask about of getting into the industry as a whole, because it's rather lower. Oh, the industry as a whole. So, was that your question for you or a question from somebody else? It's, uh, <clears throat> it's a question from someone else. Um, okay. But I'm asking to collaborate with you. On how to get into the industry. Yeah. The gaming industry specifically or like voiceover specifically? Or acting or directing or animation or what? Give us a kind of a. Okay. Um, so, if you're going to be an actor. Um, voice, acting. voice acting, acting, acting is voice acting, acting is everything. You don't need to specifically do like, oh, I'm just a voice actor. People end up 
potentially doing just voice acting as it were but it doesn't make them a voice actor it makes them still an actor you'd agree with that with you jack yeah yeah actors are actors it's a it's a just a different medium of working in with your performance and your craft and like we start like knowing elements of style and elements of style oh <laughs> you can't hear, they can't I actually need a microphone in there for you yeah but like the difference of acting for a game like this is different to doing something like god of war which is very cinematic heavy and yes scenes. okay yeah that's a really good point so um the the cinematic acting that you see in say god of war is what jack was saying um is is, is different in terms of like it's grander on scale it's less intimate um you are i don't want to get too much back. i'm so scared of paint i hate getting grubby <laughs> I don't mind working in in clay, but paint it really can ah oh, it's really annoying me. Um, so yeah, there's 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 a yeah with God of War and the direction for that. Have I got paint on my face now? Um, Not yet. <laughs> um, oh yes, because I'm going to put the um, the other paint on, um, the face paint on. Uh, blah, 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 blah. yeah, there's. I imagine that the cinematic stuff you you're kind of in the volume itself with the actors and you're you're directing more intimately in that respect whereas with your and and they've memorized the script and all that kind of stuff whereas with with the performance direction and and, and the voice direction on BG3 you were working with a script there and then because you know we had a lot to get through and all that kind of stuff and so it wasn't it wasn't an issue of it wasn't the issue of directing the actor with them having had memorized said lines and, and all that kind of stuff. It was because we had to work at pace. Um, a lot of the performance was, was, was from the script there in front of them. So that's, that's different in, in a regard, but in terms of explaining people's intentions, in terms of uh, 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 directing actors in terms of their and uh, helping them understand the, the context of the situation, helping them to, um, really believe where they are and what they're saying and who they're saying it to yada 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 that's that's not so different um yeah that makes sense doesn't it jack sorry answering the question you just answer a question my, my brain can do one thing at a time so no it's fine <laughs> sorry yeah so it's it's there's not a huge amount of difference in terms of how you work with an actor in those different mediums so like with tv film theater voice whatever you are the direction is the the key fundamentals i feel for being a good director is is you know understanding the story having a vision for the story um and being able to kind of relay that to the actor and help them understand the vision and the story and the context and the relationship with the other characters and all that kind of stuff does that make sense yeah, like placing with, with what you're saying of like as an actor stepping into a you know a, a studio with nothing around you. Yeah. So like knowing and having someone else because often you're given nothing as a director, you're told nothing and for games, for games, for games and games for for motion capture. Yeah. Yeah, and you've got nothing around you, but you all have to be singing from the same hymn sheet. Yeah. Yeah. So having someone you can help with that as well. Yeah, exactly. That's that's the that's the role of the director is to help when you've got nothing in front of you or just a script in front of you. You can't imagine, you can't imagine. You know, you have to. Sorry, you have to imagine the space you're in. It's not in front of you. You 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 are very fortunate if you have a stage built for you. Like if you go and watch the making of The Last of Us, which I highly recommend. I think it's all on YouTube. YouTube. Um, or the making of um, uh, Uncharted, which I think is another really good like making of, and like it's amazing to see the actors. You know, they they had a little bit of scenery and stage, in terms of like a car or, you know. But you don't, you know, you're working in a volume, so you've got to use your imagination a lot. But I think 
the role of the director there is to kind of say, well, this is that there and this is that there. But what I really want you to focus on is is how you listen to the actor that you're working with, how you respond, how you connect, how you relate to that character in front of you. Um, but yeah. Um, if a monster's going to jump out from the side, you, you jump out from the side as a director sometimes. Or, ah, oh, I can... Oh, I can't say it. I did this... I was helping a deer on a particular game. Um, and I had to be a deer mm -hmm. <laughs> that would jump out. Um, and I pretended to be a deer so the person could be scared. Oh, there's a deer that's just jumped out in front of them. Or they follow the deer or something like that. So that's an example of, of an AD doing something. That would help them with the imagination bit. Yeah. yeah, different things. But also, if you don't have dots on you, then you can be in space providing resistance and flight. Yeah. Like that. Which is another thing I did was to provide resistance with a resistance band, as if they were walking through, they were wading through water. It's all these tricks of the trade, guys. It's all these tricks of the trade. The movie magic. But what's so cool is we've just got all these amazing fans, like you guys, who've just embrace this whole thing and loads of things anyway sorry jack is, is, is have i answered the question do you have we can i just say have i answered the question fully jolly b are people happy with my answering of the question or if we yeah. can't <laughs> jolly b is still here. Oh, good. Um, and another question here mm. from uh, another question oh jolly b again oh jolly b, again. Um, Hello, jolly b. answer another question so the question is um so talking about on discord but what talking about discord would what listen to while working in the forge? what music would damon listen to listen to while working in the forge so i create a playlist on spotify um and i think it's on my twitter stream um oh, i've got black over my fingers black paint um this is not the way to paint is it really uh <laughs> yeah so i've created a um i've created a playlist and basically they're all love songs for karlak so that's what he would listen to but you know when it what time is this set you know when is it set would there be metal music around you know like it's all like jack uh, help me answer this question is that is that would 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 they have guitars or would there be like lutes and stuff well, uh, well uh since we uh there's lots of barry white do you use barry yeah white? i put loads of barry white on my playlist yeah. <laughs> i did and it's great because it's all about carlac mm -hmm. and the love for carlac I can't get enough of your love, baby. That's my impression of Barry White. Sorry. Um, yeah, I've got Aretha Franklin on there. Say a little prayer. So those are the kinds of things that... Um, <clears throat> I don't know if you can see it, but I've painted the other one. And it's almost all black. Yes. Whoa! Jack, I'm done. You're done. On the first coat. <laughs> I need to do... Question... Sam is in the chat. Sam is in the chat. Now Sam said that there's a way of me like knowing that. How how do you know that Sam's in the chat? Uh, thanks to Yin Spirit One who told me. Sick Yin Spirit One, thank you for alerting us to that. Now Sam, I'm really sorry. I think I'm. I, I don't think we were chatting this morning, and I think oh no, yesterday, and you were saying like oh yeah 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 I'll come along. Oh no, it was this morning. You said I'll come along tonight, and um, thank you. Hello, hello, Samantha Bay Art. All wonderful. Um, Samantha Bay, so they, they come along and say hi. So Karlak is here, is in the house. Um, and uh, yeah, so say hello if you can. Oh, there was a way of like. Well, there's a, there's a VIP How do I do that? How do we, how do we make her a VIP? How do we make them a VIP? Her, they, we can go by both. And if James Alexander's there as well, love you. Love you, James Alexander. If you've tuned in. How many people is, is with us at the moment, Jack? Uh, hold, hold that thought. 
Don't, sorry. I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I've been working Jack too hard. I've, I've gone all famous and like. My foot's back right now to 77. 77? Hello, 77 of you beautiful, wonderful people. Thank you for joining me. Right. I've done the painting of the horns. Have we got. So, is there. Have I answered that question? Yeah, we've done the question on the music. Because you might listen to some Chopin or or like but or like the equivalent, like there's some might be some tiefling like meditative music that has been developed or um but like crossover worlds like our world to their world, I've gone with some beautiful Barry White, Stevie Wonder, um I'm gonna finish that. That's that's good. That's good. That's good. I've got my. Um. Oh, I've just realised I've got the ears on still. <laughs> Somebody's telling me how to tell you how to VIP. Sorry, Sam. I'm learning. Sorry, Sam. We're learning on the job. I'm sorry. I should have listened to you earlier on and said how do you how do I make you a VIP. But anyway, <clears throat> I've got some news. I've got some, I've got some news. But you probably already knew. <laughs> um, Tomorrow at 6pm BST time. British summer time. Why? Uh, anyway. Uh, <coughs> my love. will be joining us in Dammit's Forge. Any response to that? <laughs> oh, he's on a flight today. Okay. Oh, it's the 10 second delay yeah, thing, isn't it? Clap seriously. Woo! Which channel will that stream be on? Here, question mark? Yeah, I'm being a bit cheeky. I'm streaming on here. Um, I'm not, but I know I did ask Sam if that was okay, and they said it was all right for me to <laughs> do the stream on here. So if I get a thousand more, if I get a thousand more uh, followers on Twitch, uh -oh! <laughs> it's because of Sam. He's. If we try to find a creator dashboard, guys, how do we do that? Is that on Twitch itself? It could be on Twitch itself. Is that what they're saying? Is that what they're saying? Yeah, the you can also do slash mod with the same name to make sound and mod back as well. Oh. Uh, through Twitch, yeah. Oh. Uh, I need to log into Twitch then, don't I? Hang on. I've got I've got Twitch on my laptop. Popping it. Sam is gonna mod me. I don't know how, Sam. Sam, Sam, sorry, Jack doesn't know how to mod you. Hold on, hold on, Sam. Hold on, Sam. You're gonna type in dash mod and their username, right? Try not to mod. Not. Ah. Oh! Have you done it? Uh, I'm getting there. Wait, chat. Oh, oh, look, it's me. I'm watching myself. Oh, it's a bit weird. Do you want my laptop with the Twitch on? What? You've moved so quickly. Phraseception. <laughs> Don't you do that for a living, darling? <laughs> no, 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 this is not, this is not, no. Who does that for a living? Do you mod Samantha Bayer? Yeah. Copy paste it. I think I've done it. Maybe a star will rob you live on the Sforge one day. Oh uh, yeah. No, a star. Invalid username. Oh, fuck. Should I give you um this Twitch thing, Jackie? Oh my god, I'm really hard at this. Because uh, I've got the Twitch browser up here. If you can do it, then you go for it. I don't want new Prime Loop. No thanks. Slow mode. Is there a chat settings? Ooh. Okay. Have you got down to the ch chat settings, Jack? 
I should probably get my phone out and just say, sorry Sam, I don't know how to do this. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Sam's message me. Hello. Trying to, oh you can hear this. Why am I messaging you? <laughs> Trying to sort it out. Shall I give Jack my laptop? Yes, yeah, Sam's saying. <laughs> this is mortifying. I'm giving this to you, Jack. Sorry, bear with this one second. You can see my. Here's my laptop. Ah, oh, I get it. You got it? Oh, that's a good work. Right, surely, surely, slash mod. Right? No, why not? Here it is. Is this actually the right one, isn't it? Slash mod. Mod, yeah. and then space. Oh, I'm going to turn my... Oh, oh no, oh no. Coming back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Oh. Oh dear. You see, crazy time. I thought I just did it. Did I do it? Oh yeah. Yeah, I think I did it. It worked. Did it work? I think so. Success. Yes! <laughs> Jack! Thank you, team. Yeah, he said, thank you, team. Hi, Sam. I'm going to turn my Twitch off on my laptop because it's going to get a bit confusing. And probably rinse the... Um... <laughs> rinse the stuff here. Right. Okay, sorry. So what is Sam? What's, what's happening? What's happening? What are we saying? What are we saying? What should we say, Sam? Mm. You're the mod now. What does that mean? I don't know what it means. Anything, Jackie boy? Uh, it's just loaded real quick. I'm, te I'm catching up. <laughs> oh, no. Uh-oh. Is that because Sam's here, innit? Yeah. Classic. Classic Sam. Attracts the fans. Boom! Sam, I derailed everything. You've derailed a classic. But well, that's all right. My love is here. That has made me very happy. Because tomorrow, guys, Sam will be here in person. Yes! Uh, any questions for anybody before I move on and try and paint myself? Oh, so much love. You're all lovely. You're all so nice. It's just so brilliant. People are so cool. Uh, here we go. Uh, Valo, Valo, X, I, uh, Valo X, I, Is that Val? Is that Val? Do you have pets? Do I have pets? Oh, I did have pets. We had pets last year, two years ago. We had pet rats. They were awesome. Sorry if that freaks people out a bit. <laughs> Ooh, this is exciting. We had pet rats and they were called Coffee and Acorn because they looked like coffee coloured and acorn coloured. Um, but they died. I may have had a hand in one of their deaths, which was pretty sad. Yeah, they're both ladies. And they were fun and excitable and ooh, oh Jack, I've opened up the paint. I've opened up the body paint. Body paint. Oh, not fly brushes. Oh, is it dry yet? Is the what? Oh no, definitely not. Dry brushes now. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to do the dry brush. I think it's. I'm. I'm leaving the horns now. The horns are black. Okay, couple of couple of acting based questions. Exciting. Oh, Sam's just messaged me. Oh no, he just just liked my my thing. Uh, oh, just. 
Is Sam? What, what can Sam do? Sorry, what can Sam do? What can what can Sam say? Can Sam say stuff? Yeah, I'm asking you and I'm asking everybody. Am I going to shave? I have to shave my cosplay. Thank you. I have to shave. Hi, Frey Lassell. Thank you. Definitely going to shave. Definitely going to shave. Although I get really bad, like, ingrowing hairs here, so I'm really nervous about it. Shaving, because I never shave here. Lily Frankenstein. Hello, Lily Frankenstein. Hello. Before mocap. What am I? Just any kind of acting law, please. Any kind of acting law. Is that what is that, Jack? What is acting law? Is that what we were talking about earlier? For I, th I think just more. Just law, things, like you, your career. The my career, done, yeah, yeah. Things you like to do. What did you do before mocap and performance and all that stuff? Uh, so yes, so um, oh, uh, yes, potted history, potted history. <laughs> Can I do a potted history of my acting law? And um, by the way, is Sam is Sam saying stuff? Is does Sam want to say stuff? Uh, okay. Now look at these squishy, lovely things. Squishy, lovely things. Oh, it's so squishy. Oh yeah. Oh, Carlac is. It's um, Carlac is awesome. Carlac is awesome, but Sam. Sam is just as awesome. I was going to say more awesome. <laughs> no, Sam's real. <laughs> so Sam is Sam is awesome. Let's start. Let's start, uh, circle back to the acting law in a second because I feel like you could you could probably possibly could go. But quick question here from uh, Requiem L again: What class would Damon be if he joined Tab with as a champion? Champion. A companion? companion. What class would he join the tabs? What class? What? Wait. Yeah, if he joined tab as the, I think they're companions. The camp pilots. I think I'm. If he joined the tabs, if Damon joined the tabs as a companion, right? Is that right? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. What class, what would, class he would he be? be? Ooh. <gasps> ooh. Uh. Ooh. That's gonna do a lot. Uh, what class would he be? Uh, Jack, can you help me out there? What class would he be? Class 3B? Uh, what would he be? What class would he be? Oh, look at that. Mm, oh, it's so I, pink. I've got a lot to think about now. But like, what would he be? Would he be... Oh, it's so pink. I mean, it might be like Forge Cleric. He'd be a forge cleric. Oh, like class, like race. Not race, class. class. He'd be a forge cleric. Maybe. I would have thought. He'd be a forge cleric. I don't Ooh. know. I don't know. That's a first instinct. It's a, it's a deep question. It's, it's a deep like, question. Mate, this a leads a lot of thought, and I don't have enough knowledge of D&D uh, &D to know, because I'm a, not cool. Uh, okay. I'm um, a, what am I? I'm a muggle. What if this is from Genevieve? Genevieve. Uh, Genevieve, uh, hello, what hello. Is the most challenging voice role you've ever done? Ooh, I did it recently. <laughs> the most challenging voice role I ever did was having to shout a lot, but I can't tell you what it is because it's a game that's coming out. I don't know when it's coming out, but it's a it's a, it's a game that I've been NDA'd on. Oh dear, Jack. Yeah. I've painted myself pink. It was only a matter of time. Look. <laughs> Can they see that? Yeah, they can. Okay. <laughs> Oh dear. Alright. Um, uh, what did you want to be as a grown up when you were a kid from Anxious Sandwich? Oh, hi, Anxious Sandwich. Oh, wait, I haven't asked the question about what other jobs I did before, right? Did I? Uh, no, you didn't. Uh, I'm not particularly honest. I apologize. Uh, well, that's alright. Um, should I answer that question first? Yeah, because otherwise my brain will forget all of them. Okay. Sorry, Jack's saying sorry. Um, oh, I'm adding some white now to kind of make it less pink and a bit more orangey, damony kind of colour, maybe. By the way, Jack's coming with me as my support companion, my support elf. 
What are you, a support elf or a support companion? Uh, what should I do? Uh, you coming to Comic Con with me. Oh, I like that. Oh, okay. Oh, this is actually quite good. What do you think about that? Uh huh. Do you think it's, is it focusing on the thingy? It's alright? Yeah. Sweet. Uh, yeah? It's not quite there, is it? Blend your beauty. Uh, blend your... Blend your beauty. Yes. I need some drag queen friends. Or drag king friends. I actually have some. Um, oh, someone said he could be an art artificer. An artificer! Yeah. That's my class. Why? What's Jack? Explain that yeah, to me. A few other people would say so. Artificer is a class of sort of creating magical effects and items and like yeah, it's quite good. It's all about creating stuff. Creating stuff. Like building stuff. Like like yeah, we've also got uh, war cleric is in here. War cleric. A couple of fighters maybe, but artificer. There's a lot of love for artificer. Artificer. Yeah. Got it. Okay, so there's a lot of love for Artificer. Cool. So he's like a creator because he likes because he uh, likes. Forge clerical fighter again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Forge clerical fighter again. Forge cleric being what's the forge cleric again? Uh, that is a cleric, but they are obviously in the forge and creating, and they can like add extra to armor and weapons once a day. And mm. uh, so if I was a part, is it a bit deific? Deific. Like they they follow a god and like they have like a fate with that. I don't know. Oh, whereas I see. Artificer is like about the creation. Oh, so artificer is about the creation, whereas the other one's about creating stuff for the god. Yeah, it's just sort of act of worship, I guess. Right. Okay. Um, but it, both could work. Both could work. All right. Okay. Not, so we've got some options there. Well. Sorry, what? There's, there's fighter in here, which I can see. Fighter. Is Sam doing anything? I feel bad because, like, Sam's come on to say stuff. And How long has Fraser been cosplaying? Sam has asked. Um, my Sam? Yeah. Samantha Bayer? Yeah. Has asked how long I've been cosplaying for. Yeah, I don't know if that was the, the chat or... Oh, wow, it's October. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Jack's catching up. <laughs> um, how long have I been cosplaying for? This is the first ever cosplay I've ever done. Ever. Okay, this is not working. This does not look like a diamond colour at all. Okay, uh, Sam is... You, you have to listen to Sam now. I now uh, have to listen to Sam. Please Ooh. listen to Jack and dampen that sponge. Dampen the sponge. With my tongue? I haven't got no uh, water. Okay, I'm going to find your finger in a bit. No, you don't have to find me any water. Yeah, you can use it. Put water on your page, or you can put it on the, on the bus. Yes, dampen the sponge, sir. Dampen the sponge, sir. Oh. Okay, uh, okay, okay. Hold on, I'm finding water. What if I spit on it? That's, no. I've got water. Jack's get me water. Sorry, Jack. It's all right. Just pour it in here, pour it in here. Pour it in here. Try to come out. Sorry, you're being, always being so kind and I'm being so lazy. That's enough. There you go. Dampen that sponge. Yeah, that'll, that'll turn more red. Okay. It will turn more red now? Yeah. Oh. Is that what I'm doing wrong? Yeah. Ooh. I'm wiping it off. Maybe put some in here. Oh. Ooh. Yo, you did not make friends by licking it, no. <laughs> this guy's great. <laughs> don't lick it. They're saying don't lick it. Okay. Oh, yeah, you're so right. Dampen that sponge. Oh, dampen the sponge in. Oh, damn. This might be a bit too red, though, Jack. Look. And then you might need some yellow from the saying. I didn't, I didn't buy any yellow. Sam is saying on the chat, should Sam paint you tomorrow? <laughs> should Sam paint me tomorrow? Oh. <laughs> Uh, okay, it's happening. The chat has spoken. The chat has spoken. You're going to paint me. Okay, cool. <laughs> Sam's going to paint me. Look, okay. How's that? But it's too... It's, we need to go orangey, don't we? So, hang on. Let's get some... 
Let me get so I don't want to mi mix up the colours, so oh dear. How I oh dear. If I do this one. They're all funny colours. All fun fun pinky colours. I'm going with the white a bit. I'm gonna add some white. It's gonna go crazy. Sorry, Jack, um I've oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, well let's just leave this to tomorrow night, shall we? <laughs> Sam, what do you think? Just leave it to tomorrow, yeah? Wait, what are you gonna paint? I'm just gonna paint my face, right? I'm Is that is that going out of focus? Uh oh. No, it's alright. It's alright. Yeah, everyone says you're going full cambium. <laughs> what is a cambium? Like oh. Yeah, he's not. Yeah, kind of, kind of, yeah. Let's just give you a kind of devil. Dang it. <laughs> Are they saying that I'm so silly? Sam, Sam was just clarifying. Yeah, yeah, just your face. You gotta think about the terms of service. Yeah, I've got to think about terms of service. Yeah, you can't pay anything else. Oh, yeah, this is not. This is too red and pink, isn't it? Oh, I was advised wrongly. I need to get some yellow. Uh, question from the kind and cruel. Question from the kind and cruel. Hello, if kind and cruel. Marion approached you for a Dan and romance. How fast would you do it? <laughs> if Dan, <laughs> if Larian approached me. For a damn romance, how fast would I do it? Jack, you're going to have to help me out here. I'm actually a little bit confused about what the whole romancing thing is. I can't help you. Oh, because I, I like, is it a ram romance with anybody? Like, could anybody romance me? Or is it just particular characters that can romance me? And it, romancing somebody, is it like holding their hands? Is it going to... Second base, um, is it going to third base? Is it like, think, you know, is it is I, it like? I think we should keep this on chat and <laughs> keep you innocent. Is what the chat is saying. Is the chat going crazy? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Oh dear. And, and, and people are like, dude, how do you not know this? Uh, oh no. Yeah, there's there are calls for a. Carmack and Damon uh, DLC. Carmack, Carmack, Carmack. Heartforge DLC. Carmack. Boom. Heart, heart. Oh yeah, like they could go on an adventure together into Avernus again, and 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 like, yeah. No, maybe. Heart Thoughts. Forge from Sam. Heartforge. Heartforge. We're gonna touch hands tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> no, because we can. Because I fixed your heart in it. Spoiler alert, Jack. Sorry, mate. <laughs> Spoiler alert for everybody. You know what I'm talking about. Nobody knows what I'm talking about. Oh, it's all I, good. I, I can figure it out. No, you can't. Yeah, I can. No, you can't figure it out. Those soul coins do do something. Those soul coins. Uh, no. Okay, so I've got a um, cambian hand. Yeah, cambian? Cambian hand. Yeah. Cambian hand. We need to get some yellow for you. We need to get some yellow. Okay, fine. Fine, 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 fine. We'll get some yellow. I've got the white. Uh, that is a question from the Dan Crow There's a question that I've not responded to. Uh, oh so dear. What, what, did you, oh yeah, what did you want to be as a grown up when you were a kid? Mm -hmm. Sorry, anxious. Sorry, anxious sandwich. What did I want to be um, when I when I was a kid? So I was heavily influenced by what my dad did. I was like, oh, my dad does this, and and he was an amateur actor, but he was also in biomedical science, and so I was like. Oh, I'd like to be a marine biologist, um, and then, and I was like, but I did a bit of acting. At, I went to drama school. I went to drama club after school and did some of that, and then got to secondary school and went painfully shy for at least five or six years. No, five, four years, four years. You got to year ten, which was when I was fifteen, and you start on year eleven. So yeah, four years. Got to get to got to fourteen, uh, fifteen, four, 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 four. Yeah. Got to fifteen. Was like, oh, this acting thing. Oh, I'll do it for my GCSEs, which is a um, uh, uh, it's a qualification that you get here when you're fifteen, sixteen, right, Jack? Yes, that's right. Uh, so long ago I did them. 
Uh, because we've got people from all over the world watching, haven't we, Jack? Yes, we do. Oh. I believe so. How many people have we got from Australia and New Zealand and that part of the hemisphere? Where can I find this? I don't know. They'll probably say. Yeah, they'll say. The Dominions. The Dominions will say. They will reveal where they're all from. Um, little question related to what you were doing. Uh, do you still get shy when doing mocap stuff for acting? Oh, yeah. Not as shy, because I have no shame now. Um, I've got three children, so there's no shame. I've got no shame. Put me in that skin-tight suit. Put me in that skin-tight... In fact... <laughs> I have so much no shame, I can tell you a cheeky little story. But we need to go back to the acting thing don't we, early, from earlier on. What you wanted to do as a kid. Oh, yeah. So the kid, I was, I wanted to be a scientist. I wanted to be a marine biologist. I think I, uh, you wanted to work with dolphins and swim in the sea. Um, so I had no real idea what what that really meant or what that entailed. So I thought, I know, I'll do a biology. I did quite well in my GCSEs at science. So I thought, oh, I'll be a, um, I'll, I'll do biology A level, which is a bit of a jump up from GCSEs to say the least. And I completely flummoxed it. I failed it like failing was the new thing around town. That's a terrible quote. What, you, if you get to know me, I'm, I'm not very good at doing expressions and quotes. I try and make them up and it fails miserably. Um, yeah. So I thought, oh, I'll be, yeah, and failed biology. But I did really well in my drama. In my drama A-level. Well, I'd say I did well. I got a B. It's all right. It's very good, actually, for a lot of people. Anyway, um, my drama teacher at the time, my second year of my A-level, said, oh, Fraser, you should give acting a go. I was like, oh, oh really? Oh, do you think so? Oh, OK. Oh, I could be an actor. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, I like drama. I like theatre. Oh, I like I like film. Oh, oh, I could be famous. Which is basically what everybody thinks, isn't it, Jack? Uh, sure. No, that's not what you thought. Oh, okay. I just thought, uh, yeah. uh, you went into acting for more pure thoughts, didn't you? No, you didn't. No, okay. Oh, pure, uh, pure, pure intentions. You went into acting for. It's story for me. Story, it's storytelling, good. storytelling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. But when I was eighteen and really into girls, yeah. it was all about being famous and getting more girls. Oh, all right. Yeah. No, not for you. But I, that's just not how my brain works. For me, it was like yeah, that. Yeah, my brain is like, you're being seen. You must be someone else. And that was what I loved about it, was that... You preferred to be somebody else and be seen. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Put, create a character, be the character. Yeah, no, and I mean, I think there was some of that involved in yeah, my... Yeah. But I, but it was like, girls. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> Girl, girls and uh, being famous. <laughs> um and so I think really a good thing happened to me in that I, I went to university and I studied drama theatre performance studies. I got into um, the National Youth Theatre, did a year with the National Youth Theatre and thought, it's set. I'm going to be famous. I'm going to be acting for the rest of my life. Yes. Wonderful. Um, did another gap year after university. Gap year. Did a gap year before university. Did a gap year after university. So I'm talking to Jack as well and you. Um, and um, no, 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 no. I want to see your face. It's quite nice because I last time I did, I had nobody to, to actually physically chat to. Although you are all wonderful and I love chatting to you. But like, I've got a face as well, which is nice. I've got a captive audience of 77 people. So wonderful. Is Sam still here? Is my love still here? Yes. Then look at you now. But look at me now. Look at you now, baby. Um, um, couple more questions coming in when you have a sec. Okay, cool. Can you write them down? Yeah. Sorry, because I feel like I need to get back to the to yeah, the yeah, um yeah, yeah, yeah. the other acting jobs that was asked earlier on by somebody wonderful. I can't remember. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah. So that's what I want to be when I grow up. And so I just give you the potted history of. I think did I do this? Not did I not do this on the last stream? <laughs> oh, no, I feel terrible and re repeating myself. Um. So yeah, then, so, sorry, after, I don't think I did. What are they saying? Are they saying, yes, Fraser, you're repeating yourself? Do it again. Oh. Should I take the years off now? Okay. No, he's just saying, um, 
Finally, here's the staying on. <laughs> you guys. Anyway. Acting, acting, acting. Yes, so it's probably a good thing that my pride was fully dented after doing... So, I... <laughs> which... Which is really stupid because actually I should have just kept going. Um, I, I kind of, uh, yeah, after university, um, I had met my wife at this point. We, we were not married, but I'd met my wife and, and we're like, oh, and she was like very supportive and, you know, go and be an actor and all this kind of stuff. But I, I, I thought, I, during my gap year, I was like, oh, okay, I'll, 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 I'll go to drama school. I'll, I'll go and train and be an actor. So I, I've done drama theatre performance studies at university. So I, I need to go and train to be an actor. Uh, to, to, to get anywhere, which is partly true and partly not so true these days. Um, I think it's good to have some sort of training. Um, there's lots of schools of thought on that, really. Some people say that drama schools can mould you into a shape, which is good and all this kind of stuff. But if you haven't been to drama school, then you can, you're not moulded into a particular drama school shape. You're much more natural and free and go on an innate talent. Um, and and you know working on your craft but there are other people who think no you have to go to drama school because it enables you to know blah 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 blah. Um, but a lot of acting a lot of being an actor is knowing how the business works um, and that kind of stuff so yes so there was me going oh I'll go and train and be an actor so I applied to RADA <laughs> which is the Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts the the best, most prestigious school for acting possibly in the world. No? Okay, Lambda. <laughs> Sorry, Lambda is... <laughs> Jack went to Lambda. Um, <laughs> Jack went to Lambda. Right, <laughs> Which is another one of the most prestigious acting schools in the world. So I thought, oh, I'll go to RADA. Yes, I'll go to RADA. Got my audition. You have to pay for an audition, which is kind of strange and a bit bit elitist but never mind um and you 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 uh you you pay you do your audition you get invited if you get if you get past like you have to write like your experience of why you want to be an actor and, and and what you want to do and all this kind of stuff so you have to get past that stage first and you said a picture as well and you have to get past that stage first and then you get an audition i did my audition during my gap year and i didn't get into rada <laughs> oh well then, I shouldn't be an actor. I'll I'll be more responsible, and I'll I'll get married and get a proper job. I mean, come on, it's ridiculous. I, it, but but you know, all things work, right? All things work together, and actually, that that time of growing and maturing as a human being and learning more about myself and learning that I definitely didn't want to be a drama school teacher. As in, a, a, I didn't want to be a, a school teacher, which is what I trained to be. Oh my goodness. Terrible idea. Awful idea. Um, loved ki love working with kids. I thought, oh yeah, I'll be a teacher. It'll be all good. I'll be a drama teacher. I'll be the most inspiring drama teacher they'll ever be. Like my drama teacher was inspiring to me. And I thought, yes, that'd be awesome. And nope. Bad idea. Bad, bad, bad idea. The kids were interesting. But it wasn't just the kids, it was just the other stuff that was related to it. It wasn't just education, it was just the bureaucracy of like getting the kids to a certain level and blah, blah, blah. And I just couldn't cope with it and failed miserably. Uh, I didn't fail, I did, you know, I, I passed the, the year of training, as it were. But that I just realised that that's definitely not what I wanted to be. I wanted to, I, I, I made some more adult. <laughs> um, thoughts about acting and more sensible thoughts about acting that, that that storytelling like jack was saying was was the part of the craft that i loved and and connecting with people connecting with the audience connecting with 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 other actors and and telling a story was was supremely important to me then um and being famous um met my girl um so that's all good um my wife my wife my wife and um yeah this is still story time are people bored or are people asking questions jack no, I think I've, got, uh, I've got three questions lined up which are which we can do quick fire no, it's all very interesting keep going keep going please keep talking oh really yeah 
I'm not. I'm not doing any craft. I'm not doing any forging. Is that okay? We like story time. Ah. Oh. Um, oh, I now got paint. Oh, oh, stories. Uh, it's red and it's not coming off. That's good, isn't it? Forging stories. Forging stories. <laughs> I like that. Maybe we should change it to rather <laughs> Damon's Forge question time. No. Okay, I'm gonna check you a couple of questions. All right, cool, cool. Um, Sorry, questions now. Some more stories around you. More stories around. Um, uh, what was your first acting job? Ooh, uh, ooh, ooh. Now, good question. Is that professional or at school? Uh, let's see what they say. Question for you. School or professional? Both. Both. Oh, okay. Ah, <clears throat> oh. so at school, the first acting role I played was Hiawatha. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Probably not something I should admit, but I played Hiawatha at school. <laughs> um, cultural appropriation there. E. Should I have... I shouldn't have admitted that, should I, Jack? It's in the past. I was eight. Sorry. Are the people angry at me now? No. I'm, I'm reading slowly. Slowly reading. Please don't be angry at me. Sorry. I, it was a long time ago. So that was the first role I played. Shouldn't have done it, but no. Um, at school. And then the first professional role, if it, if you include theatre and education, um, first professional role was theatre and education where I played um, a uh, an archaeologist talking about the Romans. That's my first paid professional role. Um, but also played a couple of Shakespeare things um, just after university. Well, well, we were at the... We were the etc. Electric? No, etc. Theatre pub. Do you know that, Jack? Uh, no, I don't know what that is. It's a pub above... It's a pub. It's a, it's a theatre above a pub. It's like a fringe... Uh, the etc. etc. So I played Prospero, um, which was awesome. Ah, oh, Prospero from uh, The Tempest. Oh, that's my dream role. That's like when I'm 80 or 70. Yeah, 70. That's probably the role I would love to play the most. Right, Jack? If, if that's your one. Yeah, it should be yours as well. Is it? No, no. What's yours? What's Jack's? What's Jack's role? Okay, fine. Because uh, I've also got other questions for you. Cool. Questions. Questions. Uh, um, someone asked how old. I'm sorry, everyone. I, I haven't been able to write down. Um, Jack is apologising. Uh, uh, unnecessarily. Old how old is Damon? Is it known, is it known in, in the game? He could be 330 or he could be 33 or 25. I actually don't know what's the canon for that, I'm afraid. Do tieflings live long time? Human lifespan. Ooh, how old would Damon be? How old? Uh, how old do I think Damon would be? I mean, yeah, okay. I, I, yeah, I think he'd be mm, for a few years of smithing, forging. He looks. Mm, he looks. He could be. Mm, he looks like he could be twenty-eight, thirty. Maybe, maybe a bit, maybe a bit younger. Twenty-five to thirty-three. As Samantha has said, same as Karlak. Same as Karlak. How old's Karlak? Sam will know. Yeah. How old's Karlak, Sam? Uh, twenty-eight to thirty. Twenty-eight to thirty. Fine. Yeah, that's my that's my casting bracket actually. It's 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 really not anymore. I play I play young dads. Like if I if I get an acting role, I'll, I'll play young dads. Um, uh, okay. Question. Um, Question. What was your favourite Damon moment? Oh, what was my favourite Damon? Well, I can't tell you because it's spoilers, isn't it? Do you want me to cover my ears for a second? 
uh, Jack's here, so I can't really tell you what my favourite Damon moment is. But you know what it is. It's coming up. It's it could come up. I don't know if you're on that path. I would, I, I would be doing all the paths. Okay. <laughs> Jack says he's going to do all the paths. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. I, oh, yeah. Well, you know, you know what my favourite Damon moment is. Does that give you? Does that give you the? <laughs> I can't mime it out. Yeah, so, so lots of yeses. Yeah, it's that. It's that. Come on, that's can can that not not be the most epic game moment and heart forge moment ever, right? I can't believe I'm still wearing these bad boys. Bleep bleep bloop bloop bloop. Okay. Um. Another question about your roles. Hmm. What was the first theatre role, voice acting role, and film? Oh, I've actually not appeared in a film, film, or I think. Well, <laughs> I've appeared as a, as a, I, I did some, I did some essay work, supporting artist work or extra work. Um, and so I've been, I've, I've featured, I've not featured, I've, I've been in several films, but I've never had a featured role yet. That's my aim. My aim is to be in a featured role or a regular walk on role. In a film or a television series, um, I'm hoping you can all help with that. Like, you know, boost my profile. <laughs> uh, no, uh, sorry, sorry. Theatre, first theatre role um, uh, was 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 Prospero. Some of the other Shakespeare things, um, and then uh, the, the what was the other one? The game role, game role. I played a Welsh dragon for a for a virtual reality game. I did. Did you know that? That was my first proper voice acting role I got paid for. And all the Welsh people are absolutely devastated right now, aren't they, Jack? Sorry, I'm reading. Sorry, what? You're reading. The, all the Welsh people are absolutely devastated right now because I'm doing a terrible accent, but also because of the rugby score. Oh, bad indeed. Oh. Oh, is it bad? I don't know. Oh. I don't know. Anyway, if you're into rugby, cool. But I don't, don't really follow it. Um, anyway, sorry, that was a Welsh. I played a Welsh dragon in a virtual reality game. It was Hollow Dance something. Hollow Dance. So if you ever played virtual reality back in the day, <laughs> uh, it was probably seven years, seven, seven years ago. I can't remember the name of the dragon. Um, but it was it was Welsh. And it, it appeared at certain points within the game of moving around when you had to hit things. It was a bit like Beat Saber, but it was, wasn't like you had to. Uh, I don't remember. Anyway, uh, that was my first computer game role, which was very, very exciting. I was so excited. And if you're looking to get into voice voice acting, that was through Voices123 or Voices.com. Um, so it's a bad idea, so don't do that. Another question from here. Question, from, question. Um, Pixie Brain. Is that Pixie Brains or Pink br Pinky the Brain? Pink's Brain. Oh, it's Pinky's. It's, it's Pinky's Brain. My, sorry. Pinky's Brain. Pinky's Brain. Um, Hello. Do you have any favourite voice actors? Any voices from your childhood cartoons that really stuck with you? I know why you asked that question. Uh, oh, yeah. Billy West. Billy West uh, is voicing everybody in pretty much everything for years. Um, I think he was in... Maybe he did Pinky in the Brain. Did he do Pinky? I think he might. Th no, Billy West, who did the voice of uh, Fry in Futurama, was awesome. But he did a lot. He did a so. Shall I have a look? I can have a look because technology, you know, it could take me on to. On to. Um, um, IMDb. And it can tell me. <gasps> oh! There's a new trailer for Invincible 2. Oh, no. Sorry, totally distracted. Was that really loud? I'm really sorry. Sorry. Sorry, Jack. Sorry, everybody. Sorry. There's a trailer for Invincible 2, season 2. Who liked Invincible, season 1? Uh, Red, green, loud, bitch. Cool. That's enough for me. There's a trailer here for it. Yes. Can't wait for a new one. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, Billy West. Oh, not Bully West. <laughs> Billy West. 
Yes, active Futurama. What else did you do, mate? Born 1952, 16th of April. Oh, yeah. I mean, he did Ren and Stimpy. Uh, did he do... He might have done the voice of SpongeBob? No, that was somebody else. Oh, wow. He's done. He's credited for 277 <laughs> different... Wow, projects. That's amazing. Tom Kenny. Sorry? Is it Tom Kenny? No, Billy West. But apparently Tom Kenny is a SpongeBob. Sorry, Tom Kenny is SpongeBob. Forgive me. Oh, wow, he's done loads for... He's done loads... Oh, mate, he's done so many. Back in the day, back in the day, back in the day. That's 1990s. Uh, I need to go 2003. No, I need to go back to the 90s because that's when I was around. And loving and watching cartoons a lot of uh, oh he was in wacky races as motley awesome oh it's an updated one surely oh oh no oh he was not in boulders gate 2 <gasps> he was in boulders gate 2 jack jack he was in Baldur's Gate 2. Yeah. No. <gasps> Could this mean something? Could this mean that because I'm in Baldur's Gate 3, I'll be as well known as Billy West? Manifest, man. <laughs> Manifest it. What does the chat think? Oh, he's he was Edgy Eddie in recess. <gasps> Love you guys. You've got my back. Um, cool, it's getting to twenty to ten, mate. Sorry, I should. We should probably call it in a minute. Is, is there any more questions? Yeah, ask for any more questions for me to try and quick fire through. If anyone's got any more questions, he did loads. So sorry, uh, Pinky, uh, Pinky's brain, Billy West. Uh, do you have any favourite headcanons from the community, Gagamon, or any of your own causing? This is from Guacca J. Guacca J. Do you have any favourite head cannons from the community of Gammon or any of your own? Head cannons. Yeah, like who, like a, any sort of, in your opinion, like who he should end up with, or like who he should end up with. Like, what's what's the like for you, like the right way? The right way for to Damon to who he should end up with. Oh, he's married to his forge, isn't he? He'll, he'll, no, no. I mean, come on. If Carlac comes along and says, ride off into the sunset with him, he, he would, he would drop that forge. He would drop that hammer straight away and say, of course, my love. I've, it's got to be Carlac, right? Sam, are you there? Thank you, everybody. I've got another question coming through. Just waiting. Oh, sorry. Two, two more nice things. This question was asked earlier and pinned, but then I didn't get to ask the... Pinned question. This is my fault. My apologies. Two all-nighters. Ask them again. Two all-nighters. Do Hello. you have any advice for someone getting into voice directing? Oh, any ideas for voice direct? Getting into voice directing? Yeah. Woo! Uh, two all-nighters. Uh, voice directing. Um, so I was very fortunate that it just happened. It just happened to me. Um, but I think, it, it, uh, again, I wouldn't just pigeonhole yourself into voice direction necessarily. Um, it's it's learning how to be a director um, and working with actors and loving actors. And probably part of that is actually training, doing some training as an actor, doing a night courses in some acting and working with actors. Um, but voice direction, it, yeah, like it, it, nobody's route is the same. It's all very different. Um it's it's building a body of work um that you've done before um but but just being able to direct you know even if it's just directing directing your own voice reel or directing somebody else's voice reel or you know for free for oh dear i hate saying that it's oh, never do anything for free if you can help it um but we've all done it <laughs> to get where we are 
that triangle. So it's a triangle of like you gotta have two of the three things. Two of the three things, yeah, in a triangle. Money, money, the people, the people, or the story, the art. The art. <laughs> oh, <laughs> money, like, people, like, or the art. Like the story of it, yeah. and like why do this project? Right. Like the people are really good. Or yeah. The money's really good, and you need two. Right. At least, hopefully three. Hopefully three. Yeah. So you have got people, money. Sorry, people, money, and story. Well, yeah, that's the you can't have all three. If you get all three, you've like. No, no, no you can. Oh, you can have all three. For, but you can't ever just do it for one because that's your suck. Yeah, you can't do it just for one. Oh, I see. Because the people are crap and the story is crap. The people are crap. The story is crap. Still gonna have a, and the money's good. You're gonna have something. Yeah, you're still gonna suffer. But you're still gonna suffer. Yes. Whereas with so I'm using my bigger ears to listen to you. <laughs> uh, I've got bigger ears to listen to you. Oh. It nearly fell off. Oh, that's quite good. They're quite like I can hit them. Oh no! You said that's your thing. I did. This feels like it. Oh no, it isn't the right one. Um, any more questions? We have got. We got. How Jack? How long have you got? I got the time for. I did say ten, didn't I? Mm. Okay. Um, I mean we could wrap it up now if people are bored. <laughs> I'm not bored. I love it. But if it, we got more questions what and stuff day, like that. Uh, I'm going on the 27th. Uh, this is the London Comic Con, right? <laughs> I can't go to any other Comic Con. I'm going to the London Comic Con on the 27th of October 2023. I'm not going for the whole weekend. I don't know why I'm going for, not going for the whole weekend, actually. Um, Jack, we're going together. Yeah. Why are we only going to the Friday? Why are we doing that? Uh, there's something going on over the weekend. There's something going over the weekend and we have lives. Oh, that's a bit harsh. <laughs> why did I say that? No, that's not that's not the case. It's just that we we uh, yes, Friday's the, the the day that I could do. Yeah. Um, I'm afraid. I'm Sorry. Okay Friday twenty seventh, and Jack's coming with me. Yay! Come um, meet us in person. That'd be fun. A couple of other fun questions. Funk if questions you, or fun questions. If you could play I love any funk. other character, who would it have been? Any game. This is from Genevieve. Genevieve, hello. Any other character in any other game? I've answered this question before. On another stream, and that's totally fine because I'll repeat it now because I'm nice. No, I, I no, because of course I love I love. I, why would I not answer questions? Continue to answer questions. This is this is wonderful. Um, I would play Solid Snake in Metal Gear Solid. Give me that yeah? cardboard box any day. Give me that cardboard box any day. Like, give me give me give me that suppressor and mm -hmm. um tr tranquilizer gun. I can't remember. Was this SG something? Yeah, I'd definitely. Yeah, yeah. Solid Snake every any day. Although, it's a great. It's a really great question, isn't it? Oh dear. Um, or Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, oh dear. That's such a good question. Uh Guybrush Threepwood. If they get a voice actor for Guybrush Threepwood, they have already because they've just made it, haven't they? For Monkey Island, I would be Guybrush. Guybrush it is Guybrush Threepwood, isn't it? Uh, I don't know. Wonderful hive mind, Guybrush Threepwood. Oh, I didn't look up. I can look it up as well. Okay, so uh, if we can join the Discord tomorrow, sorry, we can get some more questions in. That would be fine. Which would be great for me. Oh, that would be good for you, Jack. Yeah. Oh. Also, I'm playing Monkey Island for the first time. Oh, Vampire Kisser, hey! You just said it on Twitter. Uh, Monkey Island. Monkey Island. Return to Monkey Island. Oh, it's a 2022 video game. Okay, so the first one, The Secret of Monkey Island, came out in 1990. Oh, my word. Oh, Yin Spirit, uh, Yin Spirit 1 is Vampire Kisser. Hey! Hi! Wonderful person. Uh, sorry, Escape from Monkey Island came in 2000. Sorry, 1997 was the game I played, was The Curse of Monkey Island. Okay, you've got a lot to demand for this question from Dark, uh, from Darkwing Daff. Darkwing Daff, hey. Since you became an actor to woo all the women, what are your top Ray Fraser Riz picks? <laughs> Since I became an actor to woo all the women, what are my Riz tip? Wait, what's a Riz tip? I'm so sorry. I'm so old, and so like unaware and ignorant of most of 
the cool things and hip things that people say. Did I just say hip? I just said hip. All the, the appropriate things that I should probably know. What's a riz tip? Oh, I'm always doing a good chat. <laughs> Am I getting mullered? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, so it's your, like, it's like your charisma. Like, my charisma. Like your flirting technique. My flirting technique. Oh, like, like your, my your chat game. up lines. Your my game. game. <laughs> Oh dear! Uh, oh, oh my word! I don't think I was ever. I don't think I was. Ne- I don't think I was ever creepy. Well, that that's that's <laughs> that's for other people to decide, isn't it? Whether I was creepy or not. Why did I go there? I went there. Um. What? I don't know. I don't know. I was never very good at it. I just thought that I'd be an actor and therefore by being famous I would have people like flocking to me and therefore I wouldn't have to do any kind of like charismatic things. <laughs> it was never like loads of people like I wasn't like I want to be with this person, this person, this person. It was always like one like I was always focused on the one. A bit like Damon, like Damon's focused on the one. Like Carla like I'm going to fall in love with Carla and then if Carla doesn't want to fall in love with me then I'll die inside and then find somebody else okay so Sam's not letting you off the hook um, what for what, she, what are they not letting me off the hook for look at him walking it back she says um, so following up on this because I want to know now uh, so, so how did you woo your wife if not with a ring <laughs> thank you so thanks please <laughs> how did I woo my wife if not with the riz of course yeah exactly yeah I was an actor <laughs> <laughs> that's all I needed was to become an actor <laughs> oh dear oh how am I going to get this okay. paint off so we figured out how we're going to paint you tomorrow we just make you embarrassed and that's that's, that's it that's it, yeah. that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Done. I've got my damn and colour. It's brilliant. Uh, how did I woo my wife uh, without some of the charisma? Uh, we actually, we were, we were actually on the same. We were actually like vice president and, and pre- she was the president and I was the vice president of the society uh, at university. And we just worked together and ended up going, oh, you're kind of cool. Oh, yeah, you're kind of cool. We work really nice and well together. So I didn't, thankfully, have to do too much rizzing. Is that a thing? (laughs) (laughs) Rizzing is not the appropriate terminology, is it? Oh, dear. Oh, boy. (laughs) (laughs) Thanks for the chat. This is great. What what, the chat? What's everybody said? Oh, I'm so embarrassed now. What has Sam said? (laughs) Has Sam gone, how did you? Oh, dear. Oh, I'm so, I'm so shy. Rizzing is apparently correct. Rizzing is right. Well, Soda X Fizz is saying that. Good. I'm going with Soda X Fizz. Soda e- Soda X Fizz. Well, Riz can sometimes uh, Riz sometimes is just being goofy. So don't worry, it's after the show. Oh, okay. So I can just be goofy. Oh, I don't know. I don't. I, don't, I mean, to be honest, poor poor Emily. <laughs> oh, I've revealed her name online. Now you know. Um, she. She is my wife, and I, I don't know, I just... Oh, I had hair! That's what it was, I had hair! <laughs> I had lo- I had big curly hair! I had big, like, you can find it on Instagram if you want to f- scroll all the way down my Instagram <laughs> profile, but you can see me with really, really big curly blonde surfery hair. That's, that's, that's what it was. You've unleashed something, mate. Have I? Yeah. Oh, no. Thank you. Face theory, hair equals riz, dot, 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 got it. Hair equals riz. Yeah, get good curly hair. I had good curly hair. In fact, I probably was the only person on campus who had good curly hair. Good curly blonde hair. Yep. Yeah, I did. That's what it was. Now I know. It was all about the hair. And like Samson, I cut it off and nobody loved me anymore. No, I'm I don't know, yeah. 
Anyway, it's not important. Just be you. Just be you. That's all you need to be, right? To riz anybody. <laughs> this sounds awful. I don't think I can say that in good conscience. Rizzing people. No, you don't riz anybody. Just be you. Just be love. Just be kind, right? It's about being kind and not 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 a dick. I think, you know. Well, how did you riz? <laughs> how did you riz your partner, Jack? Uh, swipe. Uh... Swipe. <laughs> That's a thing now, isn't it? I was before I date. I found my wife before all of the swiping. <laughs> swipe, swipe. Oh yeah, of course. Sorry, and no judgment, but like that's a thing, isn't it? That's your wrist technique is a swipe. Damn. Just, just imagine if I had that back then. Wow. Yeah. Then being an actor. Cool. My Tumblr profile is just word actor. I'm an actor. Uh, sorry, any more questions? Oh dear, sorry, so I'm so I'm so sorry. Oh, hello, first time chat person who said they love my performance of Dam. Thank you so much. It's so lovely. Oz and Possum. Oh. Sorry. Kimo the Oz and Possum. Oh, are they in Australia? Uh, oh, okay. Well, cool. Well, whoever you are. Okay, fine. We we've clearly done another test stream, haven't we? This is this is this is not like a real stream. It's another test stream for tomorrow night. Like we'll be we'll be firing on all cylinders tomorrow night, probably, hopefully. Um, when we have the the actually talented person <laughs> of, of Samantha Bayart coming in. Oh boy. If you're still there, Sam. Welcome to the carnage. That is. Sorry. Um, well, we've not been laggy tonight, have we? Nobody's complained of it lagging and jumping, and it's been quite clean. The feed has it. Just checking timing. Would one be able to work in gaming if their main ability was languages? And also, if one wanted to work with voice actors, not as a fellow actor, what what could they do and how could they start doing it? This is a great question. I will try and to repeat it as best that I can. If somebody wanted to work with actors, is this right, Jack? Okay, two, part, two parts of the question. Two parts of the question. Would one be able to work in gaming if their main ability was languages? Would somebody be able to work in gaming if their main ability is languages? Oh my word, yes. If you can localize, like, game, um, so like, the localizing is like taking a Japanese game and making it uh, and make it for English audiences or other audiences. That's that's a huge thing. Like, if you can, I mean, <laughs> if you're like, if you if you're really good at Japanese and can like translate it into to, to English or, or where from wherever you know if you can localize a game for whatever language then absolutely like you can work in games that's a that's a hugely important job okay that was one part of the question and then it's also if if someone wanted to work with voice actors not as a fellow actor mm. what could they do and how could they start doing it poor so if somebody wanted to work with actors but not as a fellow actor yeah so, um, so maybe that what other roles what other roles there are yeah they oh. get you, that means you get to work with actors and oh my word so many so so many I mean, you can become my agent <laughs> now I have a wonderful agent uh, you could become an agent where you work with actors that's you know that's very businessy but if you want to work in a do you mean like work in the creative aspect of it like a director or like a director of photography or a cinematographer which is some of the same thing or like an audio engineer person specialist is that the kind of question sorry does that make sense either uh, either writing directing anything could do really writing directing anything could do really yes absolutely yeah, so yeah. Like oh wait wait so if you're going to work with an actor yeah, so they, they directing just love to work with creative people. you just love to work with creative people 
Oh man, where do you live in the world? Where's your base of location? Location base, Jollibee. Um, but also Soda XP is also pretty much doing lo like lots of different um, answers. Agent, makeup artist. Agent, makeup artist, hairstylist. Set design, lighting. Set design. Well, less set design because you're not necessarily working with the actor, but it depends for like if it's theatre film. Italy, Italy is where they're from, yeah. Oh, hello, Bella Italia. Is that right? Have I said that right, Bella Italia? Beautiful Italy, is that right? Jack, go on, you speak Italian. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> yes. Bella Italia. Oh. Uh, come stai? That's the limit of my Italian. I'm very sorry. Uh, oh, wonderful. Okay, so if you're in Italy... Find a local theatre group. Find a local amateur theatre group and start working with them there. Like, offer your services as 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 um as as working with a lighting box or, um, working as a stage manager, um, or or uh, um. One of the good things is if you if you're a um an extra. Uh, sorry, I'm speaking very fast in English, and I just realised if you're Italian, that might be difficult. Unless you're not Italian, could be. Anyway, I will speak slower. Get on a film set as a as a supporting artist, as an extra, and you get paid. And you work with actors to a degree. Um, you don't necessarily work very closely with the actor, but you get to meet actors. You get to work with them. So that's always fun. Um, I did that for years, and that was, that was so lovely uh, to a degree and pretty boring in other respects. But working as a supporting artist or as an extra on, on these... Um, shoots on film shoots and television shoots is is, a, is one way to, to work with them and then you get to see what the different departments do and 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 maybe what you'd like to do with them if that makes sense is that it is anybody saying crazy things that i should have responded to earlier on uh... i think somebody a long time ago asked what my favorite role was before damon yeah we had a couple of those um we had like like a lot of first roles. Yeah, we did. We did first roles. Favorite role is is I. I mean, Damon is my favorite role. Oh, absolutely, like wow, what an honor, what an absolute honor. Um, again, Prospero from uh, the Tempest, um, or Caliban from. The, I didn't get to play Caliban, but that would have been fun. Creature creator, creature creature stuff is what I'm up for. Oh, I wasn't a short film as a as a as a zombie. Does that count? Short student film as a zombie. I love that. That was fun. Got to wear makeup and stuff like that. Better than the stuff <laughs> the stuff that I've done. It's nearly 10 o'clock. Have we got any more questions from people? Or have they all gone? Now nah, we're bored now. No, no more questions right now, but if there's any more speedy ones. One last speedy question. I will try and answer it speedily. Um... Were you serious about maybe transferring performance capture to Academy to Australia? Oh, hello. I answered your question on Cameo about bringing performance capture to Australia. I will definitely talk to Neil Newborn about that because that would be so awesome to come to Australia and do a course uh, for Australian people who want to learn about mocap and want to do mocap and performance capture. There, that would be sick. But it would be a very expensive course because <laughs> you'd have to fly us out there. Business class. No, not really. You'd have to fly us out there, um, and then, and then, and then we teach you. And so this be a very expensive course. Oh, I'd love to go though. Wouldn't we all? Sorry, I yeah, I was very serious about that. I will talk to Neil about it. Um, Hello. Fox Murray Hill, David Tennant, Pedro Pascal, Henry Cavill. Sorry. I'm going to swear. Fudge, yeah. marry, kill. Fudge, marry, kill. Dave, so I've got to pick which one I would fudge. Yeah, and then marry, and then kill. Oh, my word. Not a... And, how are you? sorry, Pedro Pascal, David Tennant, and Henry Cavill. Yeah. Oh, my word. That's... That's a... No comment. <laughs> That's an evil question. Yeah. I definitely kill Henry Cavill. <laughs> that's it you can work out the other two alright impossible choices oh nearly done 
Sorry, one last question. What was that? No, 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 we're there. We're, I think we're done. That's a good. That's a good question. But I'm. I'm, I'm asking you for more of your cheeky stories from earlier that you you we had it. <laughs> cheeky stories, oh dear. Yeah, you're you're risen your wife. I'm well, risen my wife. Oh, she's actually just asked if um, how's it going and are you done now? <laughs> <laughs> I am done. I'm coming home. <laughs> well, I should I should love you and leave you. But we're back tomorrow. <laughs> so thank you for. Are you ready to stop the stream chat? Because yeah. last time, just be, just like, give me a moment, because I'm really bad at stopping a stream. I, everybody knows who's been on this before knows that I'm really bad at stopping a stream. I say you hang up. No, you hang up. I can't do it. So you can do it for me. It's really good that you can do it for me. Yeah. Um. <laughs> thank you, everybody. For joining Jack and me. Jack, do you want to come in here quickly? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. No, unless people are saying stuff. There, there's lots of people saying amazing things. Oh. Oh. Amazing people. You're amazing people. You're all amazing. So lovely. So fun. Thank you for joining the stream. Jack, come in here. Say goodnight to everybody. Yeah. We'll see you tomorrow. 6 p.m. BST time. Um, Jack's back. Oh. <laughs> the camera's dead. Um, that's okay. It's always... Um, we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, thank you, lovely Jack. Jack. Right, um, we'll see you tomorrow, 6 p.m. BST mm. time, with the wonderful and incredible Samantha Bayart. Um, should we go and stop the stream together? Yeah, you I, stop I, it. I, I, so Jack's gonna stop it. Okay, yeah, Jack's yeah. gonna stop it. He's gonna hang up for me. I love you all. Mwah. Mwah. I don't know why I'm holding that. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Mwah, 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 mwah. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs>